What's up everybody? This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13 and today we have Dustin's 2023 Kia K5. These have recently become a very popular car for headlight modification because they have such a super cool looking DRL diffuser on them. It goes the whole length, it does little zigzags and all the way back. The LED strips that I chose to use on this are the UCS variety, so they're much brighter than the SK that I've always previously used. So this is my first build using UCS LEDs. They're from Next Level Neo and they are 12 volt products and addressable. We are running a Blue Ghost module to control everything, so all of the Blue Ghost animations that you've seen me do in the past apply to this. And also, being my first UCS build, I decided to finally learn how to properly install the Battery Saver product. The Battery Saver product is also from Next Level Neo and basically interrupts the power supply to the LEDs from the Blue Ghost module. So even though the Blue Ghost module retains power, the LEDs do not get power until you turn it on because all all addressable LEDs have a standby current drain on them. So in order to use the products like you're seeing right now, you must have this little remote and you turn the power on and off. So I just turned it off and then I turn it back on. As you can see, the animations just pick up right where they left off, and that is because the Blue Ghost module is running in the background the whole time. The only difference is whether or not the LEDs have any power provided to them, and that's where this remote comes into play. Alternatively, the remote is not necessary in order to do the original animations like startup and shutdown, or if you wanted to do something like the turn signals, which I will demonstrate to you very shortly. All of those operate just as normal as long as properly integrated with the vehicle. Just to do a little bit of a close-up on this. I am really extremely proud of how I built this DRL board that goes in here. It is one very large strip that goes right there and then a junction down there and a junction up there and a single little one there and then it goes all the way up there. The diffuser does a great job at making it so that you can't see the individual LEDs and I really appreciate that. I'm gonna do the startup and shutdown mode now. So that was the startup animation. You can program what mode it does and also what's the finishing DRL color. So this client wanted this beautiful teal color and so that's what he gets. And now time for shutdown. So on this vehicle, the factory turn signal is actually in the DRL board here. So it's really important to be able to retain this. And thankfully with the Blue Ghost module, we have that capabilities. However, now it's way cooler because as you can see, we have a sequential pattern that goes all the way down. Now I can mention here that in theory, because this is Blue Ghost, we can actually program it where it will cut straight across that rather than chasing down in there. But I'd say that both the client and I agreed that this looks a lot better. So this is what we're going with. And as a reminder, you can always change the color of the turn signal as well. I always like to start it off on an amber, but that is a uh, client preference. They can do whatever they want, but this is a nice close-up of how this thing looks. You can barely see the LEDs themselves through the diffuser. Super, super pleased with the way this thing came out. I think that's about all I need to say on this particular build. Pricing and product information for this build will be in the video description. So if you have any questions about the products used or how much this costs, be sure to start your journey there. All build requests must be submitted via the form on the website. That website will also be located in the video description. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. See ya.